Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to take my MBA class through how to do a histogram. So in one of your exercises, we've conducted a survey of uh, 50 people. Notice the count 50 here. And we want to build a histogram from these results. So in this case, our um, X data is numerical. And so you cannot identify the X data before starting the graph. You m it must be defined later. So we're going to select the Y data first. So I'm going to select our Y data only. No stats on this, please, for selection purposes. Um, and then on the Insert ribbon, we're going to select a basic column graph. So go to Column, and the first one's fine, the 2D column. And it makes a graph based on what you selected, obviously, but we're not done yet. So um, at this point, well, and bring it down. Whoops, we didn't do that. Let me just bring the whole graph down below our table and slide it down there. And let's make it just a little bit bigger to more or less fill the screen. And we're working toward a histogram on this one. And we want to go to Chart Tools and we want to select the Design tab within Chart Tools and we want to go to Select Data. And on Select Data we want to go to the Affect the Horizontal Axis Labels. We want to define those. So we're going to go to Edit and we're going to put the Axis Label Range. Now I find it easier to go to the little um, graph or the little table box here that you see that takes you back to your table so you can select what it is you want to select. And I want to select 0 through 7. And then once I've selected it, it shows up here as far as the formula that it needs, that it needs to see in Excel. So, And then I'll click on this to let it know I'm done. And I'll say OK. And notice it will change my graph. So I'll say OK there. And OK again. And the purpose is to Otherwise, you end up with a one, two, three. You'll be one behind every time here if you don't do it this way. This because we want to show that, you know, at uh, the at the um, zero cups that happens eleven times. That these sur people that were surveyed did not um, drink or order any coffee from the snack bar. Okay, but um, and. We would get a 1 there if we didn't do that, and that would mess up everything up and not rep represent the data correctly. Okay, so now this graph reflects what's in this particular table. All right. Now, as far as the histogram goes, not much else to do, though. Um, it's not hard at all. Um, we want to go through and f do a little formatting, of course. So I'm going to get rid of the um, horizontal lines there, the grid lines, and um, I need to say frequency on the y-axis. So I'm going to go to layout and add an axis title for the vertical axis. And let's just make it a vertical title, and I'm going to call that one uh, frequency. So I'm going to get in there, highlight that, and call it frequency. And the x-axis is going to be cups of coffee, so let me go down and select or go up and select axis titles for the horizontal and go down here and say cups of coffee and um, since that's now labeled and I can also put a chart title in here that I have yet to do and we'll just say right in there is fine and we'll call this a histogram of daily cups of coffee. Oops. Let me get in there again. You get zapped me, hold on. There we go. And um I want to get rid of the gaps. That's one thing about a histogram. You don't want these gaps between each column. So uh, easy enough to get rid of. I'm going to click on the columns. Let me activate all of them there. 
there we go they're all activated and I'm going to right click on any one of the columns and I'm going to um, go into the bottom choice when I right click and say format data series and I'm going to get rid of the gap width I'm going to change the gap width when you get to this point under series options and I'm going to use the slider bar and I'm just going to slide it down to where it says no gap and that gives you a histogram look to it okay so that's how you want to finish it out so let me close this out and notice the gaps are gone now and it still represents the data quite well and let me also get rid of that little series one let that spread out a bit so that histogram graph represents this particular table alright so I hope this helps as you learn how to do a histogram thanks for your time